Welcome Leo. We're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using shadow healing and the cosmic reading cards and Osho Zen Tarot. Alrighty, let's get into it here Leo. Three cards for Leo please. Three cards for Leo. One, two, one more card for Leo. One more card for Leo. Thank you. I think that just fell out. Let's try again. There it is. Okay, won't be a moment. I'll just pick this up. Ooh. Okay, Leo. The first card we have here is grief. Just move these cards out my way. Alrighty. Grief. The feeling of loss can be debilitating, but sorrow becomes part of our healing experience. What you have far outweighs what you lost. At least you had it for a time. So I guess it's about being grateful. I, I suppose, Leo, what I want to say about that, though, is that is not to minimise your loss you know because it still is a loss for you so yeah let's be clear on that that it's not to downplay um how that has impacted you okay so next card here is distracted okay in your effort to be hyper vigilant the most important thing of all just slipped straight past you whilst you were distracted by other less significant things. Interesting. And the next card here is illusions. Hidden behind all the smoke and mirrors is the truth. Have patience and wait for the smoke to dissipate. What is left before you will be the truth. Oh, I love this. This is interesting. Very interesting. I wonder if the distraction is this grief, potentially. But anyway, let's have a look further into it instead of trying to guess. Okay, so two cards for grief for Leo, please. Tell me more about grief. The feeling of loss can be debilitating, but sorrow becomes part of our healing experience. What you have far outweighs what you lost. At least you had it for a time. Sometimes we can get hung up on things um, in the sense of staying in that. Um, sometimes it can feel a little bit like loyalty to the person that we've lost. Um, kind of like trying to prove to someone how much they meant to us, even though they're not there in our presence at that time. But it's almost as though we need to prove it to ourselves. And I suppose it's kind of looking at it and going, who's that hurting, you know? Because generally it's ourselves. I've just picked this up. Okay, so the first card we have here under grief is self-worth. Yes, very interesting how her mouth is covered. So I feel like there's something that you're not expressing. Um, and for some of you, it could be that you feel like you have been silenced in a sense. And maybe this is silenced from actually feeling your grief. Um interesting thing is that the third eye is highlighted here and there's I don't know oh yeah there it is you can see that there's a light bulb there and it's kind of like there's I feel like for you Leo there's going to be some kind of light bulb moment to go off in this dealing with this grief okay so two cards for self-worth please for Leo tell me more about this there's also something really piercing about her eyes. We have letting go and completion. So I feel like, um, the th and interestingly enough, this um, piece of the puzzle is going into this third eye. Okay, so what this is telling me is that when you let go of what it is that needs to be let go of, and that is to say, Leo, when you've done the healing that needs to be done, you, that will be the last piece of the puzzle put into place, okay? And um, 
and I feel like there'll be a completion to that grief. And that is also something that I just want to touch on here is that, again, it doesn't minimise the loss, okay? It doesn't mean it's done and dusted forever and you will never feel any pain over it ever again. There's a possibility that that will come up. And also with the healing, it's, it's a layers thing, right? It is peeling away that onion layer by layer by layer. Um, and healing is never, I mean, yeah, it, it's, it's an ongoing process. But I feel like this, you know, Leo, it could even be the grief of the loss of yourself or even um, what it is that you believe you could have achieved. Um, and I kind of wonder if for some of you, there's an inkling within you that potentially, how would I have turned out if this loss hadn't happened or this thing hadn't have happened in my life? How would things have turned out for me? How would things have been different? Okay, and I kind of feel like it's really a matter of accepting how things are now. And first and foremost, Leo, accepting yourself. Awaken. Look at this. This now is the beginning of a new cycle, right? And here we have the third eye highlighted again. So this is awakening, I feel, to yourself. Awakening to your power. Awakening to your abilities. Awakening to the truth of who you are. So two cards for awaken. Tell me more about this for Leo, please. Two cards for Awaken for Leo. <laughs> They're jumping all over the show today. Okay. Sure that bounced off my hand a couple of times and went flying. Okay, it won't be a mo. Yeah, here we go. So this one here that came out first. Um, this here, and I feel like there's something in the fact that it went flying. Okay, because I feel as though there's this feeling of unsteady ground for you, potentially right now in some area of your life okay and it really is living moment to moment step by step okay um and doing this consciously because uh it could be the case that some of you may need grounding okay and i feel like it's kind of um a matter of taking a moment to actually open your eyes and go okay how can i walk this path consciously rather than just walking it and hoping for the best and I hope it's okay and and I hope the ground doesn't give way underneath me and I fall through the cracks right um taking that time Leo to see another way of doing things because um the way that things have been done in the past uh may not have worked for you and this is where this feeling of instability comes in and the feeling of I want to say fear but I feel like it's more an apprehension of or anticipation of what could go wrong um, and that is usually the case when we're not standing on solid ground now if you look at this guy here I don't know if you can see this or not, but his eyes are closed, okay? And like when he puts his next foot down, he's just hoping and praying it actually lands on one of the rocks here, okay? But what he doesn't see here is these blocks, which are not as visible, but they are present. And, um, and I feel like when he comes into the present moment, he, these blocks, these... Um, and they're building blocks by the looks of it and there's steps right um they that will become more visible to him there he'll see the other options and he'll see the other path okay sorrow yes yeah, see look at this here leo this is a choice of letting the sorrow go and maybe he doesn't want to open his eyes to see the path because of the sorrow there and it is time now it is time to awaken to those things that are holding you back, that are keeping you from opening your eyes to 
uh, build a solid foundation and walk on stable ground, right? Distracted. Okay, so, and, and this is the thing. See, I feel like this guy's distracted because he's kind of, maybe the sorrow feels a bit too heavy or, or um, you know, he doesn't want to share that with anyone because he's too... Uh, he d he doesn't want to feel vulnerable, right? Um, but but it's a matter of letting that go. It really is. You've been silenced for too long. I feel Leo, and it is a possibility that you've kept yourself silenced as well. Um, and yeah, it's time to take the mouthpiece off and speak your truth and this is going to help you expand in more than one area of your life I really feel like this is going to help you open up um, in a way that even I don't think you deem possible so two cards for distracted for Leo please in your effort to be hyper vigilant the most important thing of all just slipped straight past you whilst you were distracted by other less significant things. What have we got? One card? One more card. For Leo, please. So, yeah, doing away with those distractions that are not serving you, that are maybe um, masking, um, masking the sorrow, right? Okay, so... Walk your truth. Yeah, Leo, stand in your truth. You know, this is an opportunity for you to really um, stand in the authenticity of who you are, okay, to make your mark on the world, to put your fingerprints there because no one else is like you, right? You are unto your own. And there's this, um, this urge here for you to own it okay it's kind of like this push like come on leo what are you waiting for step out and own your truth walk your truth live your truth be the truth of who you are because no one else can be okay we've got a th th three five here and this is goes to eight right in numerology and so this is infinite this is who you you ultimately are in the biggest scheme of things, which goes on forever. You know, this is you on an energetic level, so own it. Okay, so two cards for Walk Your Truth. One more card for Walk Your Truth for Leo, please. Oh, okay, we've got two. Okay, so we've got um, Turning In, we've got Creativity, and we have got Stress. Yeah, okay, so there's, okay, so I think what is really important here, especially with Walk Your Truth and the distraction here, because look at this guy for a start, right? He's distracting himself with all this noise, okay, and there's all this chatter in this card going on outside of her, okay? Um, he's playing this trumpet, he's trying to juggle these candles, he's keeping himself distracted while he's trying to balance on these balloons and here's this cheeky little monkey here ready to pop them balloons and he's going to come crashing down and what's happening here Leo is that he's trying to avoid what it is that he doesn't want to face okay and um and because he's so afraid of falling right like what came up in this card here he's so afraid of falling so he's distracting himself from the feeling of the vulnerability of having everything crash down around him and burn pretty much okay but the thing is because he's not focusing on what needs to be focused on it's going to happen anyway so, so this is where it's really important to wake up open your eyes and see the truth of what you are doing. This avoidance is not serving you, nor will it ever. So it's time to 
Let those voices speak. Let your internal voice speak to turn in and really pay attention to that and listen to that, right? Normally, Leo, I'm telling you to tune out those outside voices. And that is the case. But it's the inside voice that needs to be heard here. Okay? And whether you do that through creativity, through art, through anything that brings you joy and passion, then do that. Okay? Tune in to what ignites your soul Okay, what sets your soul on fire, Leo? Okay, because this is where the growth is going to happen. Okay, and we have patience. The thing is that it takes time. It takes time for things to grow. It takes time to nurture things. All right, and it also takes wisdom. So two cards for patience for Leo, please. And... Sometimes we can get a little bit impatient of, you know, everything. I want everything to have happened yesterday. And um, and we need to allow ourselves time to heal, ourselves time to um, work on things and, and have things develop and um, and not be distracted. And Because it's almost, yes, that's what this distraction is about. It's kind of like if I just keep myself busy for long enough, Everything that is bothering me will soon go away. But it's not going away and it's becoming louder and bigger. And so this is where you need to pay attention to it. Okay, so slow down. Slow down. Okay, and let your internal guidance system lead the way. Okay, because that's how you'll hear it. This inner voice that is trying to speak to you, this is how you'll hear it. By slowing down getting rid of all of those distractions, and then you will be able to move forward. Okay, so next card here, Leo, illusions. Two, card for, two cards for illusions, please. Hidden behind all the smoke and mirrors is the truth. Yeah, have patience and wait for the smoke to dissipate. What is left before you will be the truth. You know, and sometimes that can be scary, right? To let that smoke screen down. It's like, <gasps> do I really want to see it? I don't know about that. And, um, you know, it's kind of like that thing of, uh, I really want to, but I don't, you know. Um, but honestly, once you do, once you let that smoke screen down, the, your light will be able to shine through because right now it's dimmed. Um, and that doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. It certainly does exist. And I'm seeing another um, potential for a new beginning here. So a new path for you, Leo. And this could be in something that you are creating. Okay. Um, anyhow, back to shine. Um, growth, man in a, a massive massive way and you know there's been a lot of growth that you've achieved up until this point and um what is really interesting to me is this and i feel like there's something in this so you might just need to get let me get this see there's everywhere it's everywhere in these cards you've got the litten up you know, around the third eye here. You've got the light bulb here on the third eye. You've got this third eye lit up here. And here, it's the whole face that's lit up. Right down through here, it's like all the chakras have opened up. Okay, so for some of you, it will be really good to get some Reiki um, sessions so that you can get all those chakras aligned and turning at the optimal rate um, and cleared. Okay. Um, but I feel as though when you allow the smoke screen to come down and you allow all the dis distractions um, to stop, you know, to, when you stop all the distractions from actually um, keeping you from what, doing the work that needs to be done, then you are going to open up again, Leo in a way which you could never, ever, ever have imagined. And I mean that in the most brilliant way ever. 
and the interesting thing is that she's so grounded as well and I feel as though that that's you know you're going to be hook line and sinker grounded you're going to be stable you're going to be open and when you're open Leo you're not only open to give and create and do what it is that you're here to do you're also open to receive and that balance is where the growth comes from okay so two cards for shine for leo please love it one card okay two cards right shine yeah see because look at this look at this this is like the smoke screen right the smoke screen here this is the pollution of the mind the pollution of the mouth right and it's covering up this is it's actually stopping a solid foundation from being built and it's fear it's fear right and in the projection of that fear is it feels like a protection a, a protection but it is a projection so be very mindful okay about the difference of the two I don't actually, I feel like it's more, Leo, a matter of being mindful of how it is that you are projecting in order to, to try and protect, okay? And then what happens, because you look at this energy compared to this energy here, this blocks this, right? Right? So when you let this go, and when you let this go, you yourself are able to shine. The illusions of the projection and the illusions of the mind dissipate. And the light, it's, it's a bit like waking up in the morning and there's fog everywhere, right? And as the sun rises, it burns off the fog. And I feel like this is what this is saying here, okay? So limitless, see? This is you. You are a limitless being. The only limits that are, um, are believed are ones that we place upon ourselves. Okay? You know, I would say reach for the stars. But you can go further than that. Right? You can go further than that. So two cards for limitless, please. Okay. I notice in this card here, even though the um, the whole forehead is lit up here, and that is this vibration coming out, right, of this person, the heart is also lit in too. And so this is really cool because it's sort of like this progression of allowing the third eye to open and then in turn the heart opens too. And you have the two connected, so you're letting your heart lead the way. Right, you're letting the the mind, the negative stuff in the mind, right? These projections, you're letting those dissolve, be dissolved by the light of the mind, right? You're able to speak your truth, you're able to stand in your truth and in your power and become the limitless being that you ultimately are. Okay, so we've got one card on the floor here. Surprise, surprise, let me pick it up. Wow, how's that for growth, right? Receptivity, being open to receiving. Here, Leo, open to receiving. Um, because this, this one here, you've got all the, um, all the chakras here, all lined up, growing here, working in unison to grow, okay? And this will lead to success, right? This will lead to celebration. So, everything that you have achieved so far, everything that you've done in your life, Leo, celebrate that. Yes, there's still more to go. There's still paths to be travelled. 100%. That's never going to change. That's never going to end, right? But celebrate what, how far you've come so far, okay? Because as you celebrate that and are grateful for, for that, that will open you up to receive more of what you are grateful for you. Four. okay so yeah 
go for it, Leo, because you're 100% deserve this. And it's time to shift the energy for yourself now. And only you can do that. Okay? I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.